this week's storm certainly took down a lot of trees. A lot of trees. And Coyne wants to know if the drought that we had over the summertime played into that. Our Jennifer Dowling found out. At this house on Northeast Killingsworth, crews from Urban Forest Pro are taking out potential problem trees. They are a very brittle weed tree, so they're trying to clean them out. This week's storms already took out a number of weakened trees. This home split in two by a tree trapping an elderly woman inside. Arborist Jesse Martin says remaining leaves on the trees helped to push many of them over, and this year's drought is changing the way rain is absorbed. Martin says that the ground has been so dry for so long, the soil is starting to act like a dry sponge. It's absorbing the water so fast that the space between the soil is expanding, and that's causing trees to topple. Open up a lot of cracks and cavities to loosen up the dirt more. Here are some of the warning signs. A tree in your yard may fall. It has shallow roots. The dirt is heaving near the tree base. Roots are starting to expose or there are cracks in the dirt. High-risk trees include those near construction zones where their roots have been compacted or cut and those once in a heavily wooded area that was cut, exposing them to the wind. Warning signs like this bark seam in the crotch or fork of the tree might also show that the tree is weak. Um, you got two kind of going up together with uh, included bark down the middle. They're going to grow and compete, and eventually one's going to give out. That one's going right where? Where? Oh! If you have trees in your yard that you are concerned about, Martin says to call in an expert for a health assessment. Um, the arborists definitely could tell you if you have a higher risk for something to happen. In Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.